Hey designers, this is Mr. Sutton here and today's video I'm going to show you how to create orthographic and isometric sketch projections of your models in Fusion 360. Now these are excellent for technical diagrams or planning drawings or a lot of other applications. It's a simple process and I would like you to just follow along and you'll catch on. Feel free to pause the video or go back if you get stuck. Okay, so here is a very simple model that I've created for the grade six tourist chocolate treat unit. And here's how we're going to create the projections. Start by going to the model menu, scrolling down to drawing from design. Then it's gonna open up a create drawing window and you need to make sure your settings look like mine. Fully assembled, drawing, template from scratch, standard ISO, units millimeters, but change the sheet size to A4 paper or whatever you want actually but A4 is pretty much a, a universal standard so go ahead and press OK and wait for the magic it's gonna take a second so oh there we go now when you get here you'll have a new window open and you should see one view of your model you want to probably change that to see the front view if you don't Now mine says front but it depends on which axis you drew it I want to see the face of the model. So I'm going to change mine to top. I'm going to leave everything else the same. The only thing I would suggest changing is the scale if your model is way too big or way too small. Position it where you want and just click once. When you do that, it's going to place it on the page, but it's not yet an orthographic, well, it's not a sketch, it's still a picture of your model, and we want an orthographic sketch. So press OK, and voila. Look at that, it takes away all the 3D detail, leaving just the lines defining your object. Now we need to get orthographic side and uh, side views and then an isometric at a 45. So we're gonna go up to the drawing menu, click on projected views, select our model, and then we're just going to drag our mouse out. And look at what it does, it automatically creates those views. So I'm gonna go with a side view, another side view, and then I'm gonna do an isometric in between them, right about there. All right, now the next thing we want to do, I'm just gonna click off of that, and you can see they've all been placed down now. I wanna get rid of this table at the bottom. Unless you really want it, you don't need it. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know how to get this thing to always go away. Uh, I sometimes have to click on it a couple times. Okay, now I have a front, two side views, and an isometric. The next thing we need are dimensions, our measurement markings that help designers or engineers or builders know what this is and how big it is. So we go to the dimensions menu and you have a lot of dimension marking options. We're gonna mostly use dimensions, which is the letter D on the keyboard for the shortcut, or radius or diameter, actually probably just radius for rounded objects like circles and arcs. So here's how this works. Zoom in so that your picture is nice and easy to see. Okay, Go to dimensions and all you do is you click on one point in your project, go to another point, click, and it tells us the units in millimeters and drag the mouse up or down to place that marker. I'm gonna go right about there. I'm gonna do another one. The inside measurement now from the lofted edge is going to be 40. Uh, the height is going to be the same, but I'm going to go ahead and mark that here just to be safe. There to there. Okay, 40 it is. Stop snapping. Okay. Now then, I'm going to do the mouth. The mouth is 19 millimeters. Now, the circles and the arcs and the rounded parts, these are what get kind of complicated. So here, I'm going to go to dimension menu again. I'm going to choose radius. This says rounded edge, such as a fillet, hole, sphere, or cylinder. Okay, So I'm gonna do the entire head. I'm gonna click on the top of the head, I'm gonna go to the bottom of the head, and you can see it's giving us a marking indicating that that circle is a radius of 15 degrees. I'm gonna do it again for the ears. All right, it is a radius of seven, not degrees, sorry, millimeters. I'm do the eyes, it's the radius of the eyes. The radius of the eye is 1.41 millimeters. All right, now I'm gonna to continue to do the sides here. 
in this particular model, I have two layers. And that is the process. Okay, so you're gonna go through and you're gonna mark as many measurements as you can. So now, after you've got all your dimensions measured, you're gonna go to text, which is the letter T, and you're going to double click or click and drag to create a text box. And you're just gonna type what you want. Side view, T, click, drag, side view. If you're curious about degree, it is option zero on the keyboard. All right, and that now has labels. Now, how do we get this out of Fusion? It's a couple ways, but you have an op output option here. All you do is go to output PDF, press OK, give it a name, uh, bare chocolate uh, projections. Save it where you want. Go make sure it's there and voila, there it is as a PDF. And I can put that in pages and do whatever I want with it. So there you go, that's it. That's how easy it is. Enjoy.